naturally, by tomorrow I mean four days later, because, you know, having to work 12-hour days means that you have a lot less free time. Anyway, this section is just a, um, run down the pathway section. It's a, have you figured out how to use the arrow keys on your keyboard yet? Which, since I bumped into a wall, clearly I haven't. It's not that hard. Also, I believe... Yeah, I turned off. I was smart enough to turn off saving during this section. I believe you're allowed to make a couple mistakes, but not many, because the rock does speed up near the end. Oh, up. Tricky part. Da, 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 da. I remember I had to actually, you know, script the rock to follow this entire path. Once you reach that crystal, you're safe. And then it will slowly move back up. And I think eventually it will disappear, or at least turn invisible, but it's still there, so if you run and bump into it, it'll still kill you. So don't do that. Okay. Yeah, taking a look at the map. Because I figured out there was map scrolling events. So, I of course just had to put it in. What can I say? I made this game in a month. I was just goofing around. I was just like, yeah, this is really cool. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm going to take the game home and work on it at home. Install RPG Maker at home and, and play at home. And it was, it was a lot of fun. But, of course, I didn't know what I was doing. Because, yeah, I was, I was just too busy goofing off to actually, you know, try to make the game really good. And we instantly get warped up here, and now have to do another force puzzle. And another warp. Avoid these force panels. I actually think these force puzzles are pretty interesting, actually. They're, they're, you know, not the worst. They're decently executed. Let's go down. And then, I think, right? And then what I wanted to have you do was, like, be able to do a rock-pushing puzzle of some kind, but I couldn't figure out how to execute it, so I just kind of did that. Also, don't talk to the rock because that locks the game. Oops. It, it literally locks the game. There's nothing I can do now. I can't even hit escape or nothing. The game's just, just dead locked. Oops! <laughs> Reload. And it looks like the recorder's still working, I think. I can't trust it. The first part got screwed up, so I'll have to go re-record it. Anyway, let's see if I remember the solution to this force block puzzle. Let's see how I just did it. Hmm. That works too. Stay through the passages and then go down. And then right. Let's talk to the portal instead. Hey look, this looks like a final room. Get me to that platform. Oh no, Mirror Clones, and Superstar Saga battle theme. Final battle theme. Well, let's kill the healer first. Everybody knows you killed the healer first. Also, I, again, didn't make their attack stats high enough to really do any damage. Except with their techniques. But, you know.
you know, that can be avoided by just going... Reflect. Like, they can't even hurt me with their basic attacks. What was I thinking? I, I guess I wasn't. And now even their skills don't hurt me. Yeah, what is difficulty progression? Also, she's kind of not really healing. I think I didn't figure out how to make, you know, she healed somebody who didn't need healing. Yeah, I don't think I figured out how to get complicated enough with the scripting to actually make it responsive and, you know, respond to different scenarios. So I kind of just made them do random things, which means most of the time they're worthless. Also, that nipple ability is kind of useless because it usually misses. I believe Miradaran actually has some decent evasion, so... But in any event, this is mostly just going to be smashing the attack button until I win. At least the background is cool. It's a default background, pretty sure. Pretty sure most of the graphics I used are just default graphics, with the exception of that sprite I poorly ripped from Mario RPG. Oh hey, Nimble worked, and now he's dead, so it doesn't matter. I think I made the Nimble animation myself. Oh no, my defenses are wearing off. Somehow I'm not really concerned. Yay, win. Wow, we just killed ourselves. Yes, you did. Let's move on. Save. I give you three no's. No! Also, there's a bit of a wind sound effect going on here. Kind of neat. Um, why don't we take a shortcut before we do before we go up against the final boss here? You've arrived. It took you long enough, but now I but I will now eliminate you for good. Bar six, I have my friends backing me up. There's no way I'll lose to scum like you again. Way too many exclamation points. We shall see. More Superstar Saga music. Uh, Varsix should be kind of pathetic with your full armor set and everything. He at least did some damage with that armor. But yeah, he's pathetic. Happening to the great Varsix? Have I been defeated by a bunch of children? Too many punctuation marks? This is insane! I refuse to believe it! I'll never be destroyed by the likes of you! We too many punctuation marks! No more punctuation marks! Okay, it's over. There's nothing left to see here. And then. I pulled a Scarmiglione! Death isn't so bad after all! Come on! Join me! Real final boss. There's something wrong with this final boss. I made it... I First of all, I gave it all caps for a name, which is stupid. And secondly, it's really weak to stun, so if you keep spamming stun attacks, you kind of stun lock it. That being said, if, if I just kept barrier up, I doubt it would really have a chance to do much of anything anyway. Like, let's just let it have a turn or two and see what it does. It has solid defenses. I adjusted its defense so it would actually take a while to get rid of it. Yeah, you can do that. I believe there's one reason in particular you want to keep it stun locked. Because it has Mass Paralyze, and if it hits your party with that, you're kind of screwed. Because then you'll just have to sit there and watch for like six turns, unable to do anything, 
It's not fun. Also, Final Fantasy IV boss music. Final boss music. Because it's awesome. But with Barrier Up, it doesn't really do anything. So honestly, if I were to just keep Barrier Up, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Even Mass Paralyzed wouldn't be a problem, because then again, it might actually overwrite the barrier, so I guess it could be a problem. Maybe I should do Final Fantasy IV at some point, because it's a dang good game. Ow! <laughs> I kind of need to put Harry back up. Darka. actually doing something that isn't just attacking, so that's something at least. It's forcing me to do things. Let's go to the headquarters. Come on, I'm anxious to see how this place has changed. Uh, what? I saw you reappear there, Varsex. So yeah, that's the final boss defeated, but we're not done with this game. Why are these clouds solid? I can't walk through them. And I can't walk through these clouds. Something tells me this wasn't how this tile set was designed to be used. We might as well check out one or two of these houses. So you've beaten the game, eh? Nice job. Do it again after the credits for a surprise. Yes, I still can't make the internal walls work right. Leave me alone. What is going on here? 
don't mind being called eccentric, just don't call me a freak. Okay. Also, Poyo 2 music. I believe I used this music before I even knew what Poyo 2 was. Is there some sort of saying of wisdom here? Well, there's something to ex there's stuff to explore here. Let's look at all this wide open space and decorations that I put around pointlessly. What's this? You found the fountain of youth. Now go away before I kill you. <laughs> That's at least mildly funny. I think this is more what you were sort of supposed to do with this top set. Sort of. Yeah, I didn't put a whole lot of effort into figuring out how the default tile sets were intended to be used. Anyway, we'll go inside there next episode. Hopefully us being nearly dead won't be too much of a problem. <laughs>